Boston CBS, details are coming together for our next big storm. Watch's warnings are already out to help you prepare. Sunday night through Monday afternoon, the wind and rain will give us several storm threats, thought the highest impacts will be from the damaging wind and flooding rain. WBZ-TV graphic wind A high wind warning will be in effect for the MA coastlines, Cape Islands, all of southeastern Massachusetts and Boston, out to Route 128. This goes into effect 6 p.m. Sunday to 6 a.m. Monday, where we may get 65 miles per hour gusts, a high wind watch is up for all other parts of MA, CT, RE, the NH coast and ME coast for Sunday evening to Monday afternoon. Gusts will be just a tad lower here, but still strong. WBZ TV graphic We have a couple wind damage time frames from Sunday evening overnight and again Monday. Sunday evening the wind will be from the east, southeast. Gusts of 5,070 miles per hour are possible across the coast, Cape Islands. Outside of Route 128, gusts 3,550 miles per hour are possible due to the friction between the wind and land. The coastal low pressure system will move north of us Monday, allowing for a wind direction change coming from the south. Gusts then will be 50 miles per hour on the south coasts, still 3,550 miles per hour elsewhere. Scattered power outages are likely, as well as tree damage. The ground is very saturated, so it won't necessarily take a strong gust to topple trees. WBZ TV graphic WBZ TV graphic rain heavy rain will spread across New England from west to east Sunday. Steady rain reaches our viewing area by Sunday evening after the Patriots game, then the rain won't stop until Monday morning, could get an isolated thunderstorm embedded within the rain too. When it's all said and done, we may get 13 widespread rainfall in a short time frame. Some spots in western MA could see three, that's the most likely area for minor river flooding. Localized flash flooding is likely, in fact, it will be more widespread across New England. That's why the National Weather Service has issued a flash flood watch from Sunday morning through Sunday night. Keep in mind that the falling leaves have created a cover across storm drains. Make sure they're clear of debris. This will lower your chance of street flooding and help us all out. WBZ TV graphic timeline. The forecast models are wobbling on the track Saturday evening. However, the timing is consistent with previous weather blog discussions and Western Mass is still the area that should get the highest rain total. Sunday morning the steady rain will stay away from Boston and Foxborough leading up to the Pats game. Clouds thicken, we have a strong south, southeast wind and temps in the mid-60s all day. WBZ-TV graphic rain spreads across the region from west to east, the heaviest rainfall in western Massachusetts. WBZ-TV graphic rain will then approach Boston. This particular model run has the rain a little farther west, so take this image with a grain of salt. WBZ TV graphic The wind will be cranked up by evening and the buckets of rain will fall. There will be torrential downpours Sunday night through Monday morning. On Monday afternoon, our system moves out. The wind will flip direction, coming from the west. Temps slowly fall and the sky gradually clears. WBZ TV graphic Coast Marine Anyone taking a ferry will need to do so as early as possible Sunday. Seas will become too dangerous by Sunday evening in southern waters. By Monday morning, waves heights offshore build to 1,520 feet across all waters east and south of New England. Our high tides are astronomically low, thank goodness so even with a 13-foot surge worst case scenario is that coastal communities may get some splash over. High tide is around 7 p.m. Sunday and 7 a.m. Monday in eastern and southeastern Massachusetts, high tide is around 4 p.m. Sunday and 4 a.m. Monday for southern Rhode Islands in southern Massachusetts. WBZ TV graphic WBZ TV graphic Tropical Storm Philippe We have another tropical storm named Philippe pronounced as Philippe, according to the National Hurricane Center. Other than helping to eject more tropical moisture into our system, this storm will not be an issue for New England as it tracks to our east on Monday. WBZ TV graphic follow Pamela Gardner on Twitter at PamelaOps4.